agents. Well, agents sounds like people, could be people, so could be humans. Uh, and, and if an agent is a human, then we're talking about relevant features, the expertise and the specializations in the task domain. So in the coffee shop, there, there seemed to be somebody who was an expert in making coffee. He could handle the machines, he could put the beans in, he was working with glasses. So this is a typical agent who has an expertise. And, and when I was there, another guy was hitting keys of this nice machine. And he understood what he was doing. He was looking at a sheet of paper, finding something, hitting the machine, taking papers, clipping it, giving papers to somebody. So he has a specialism. So this is a human agent. Now, sometimes groups of people are agents, like the department. Like your department could be an agent. We could, I could ask your department to collaborate in a European project, for instance, mm -hmm. right? Or I could ask the secretariat to send a message to all the people in the faculty. So a whole group of people could be an agent. Right? And sometimes machines could be an agent. As we all know, especially information technology frequently is an agent, could perform lots of tasks. And, and sometimes you have a choice. So when I have a telephone in my office in Amsterdam, I could handle the telephone myself or I could ask Ellie to handle the telephone because we, sit, we are in a related office. Or I could delegate the telephone to the secretariat, which could be five people, I have no idea who will handle it. Or I could put on an answering machine, which is a computer. Right? So there are different agents who all could perform tasks. Now, in order to um, describe agents, it often makes sense to describe the agents as some kind of a persona. A description of a person, especially for human agents, where you should write down the task the person is performing and the background, the education, experience, what type of people they work with, what type of activities and what type of tools they use. Right? So you could maybe already make it a persona of, of the person who is making the coffee in the coffee shop. Right? Because you could write all of these things. Okay. And, and, and by the way, in the coffee shop, I already found out that the person at the desk who is using the machine is the person that should preferably speak English a little bit. The person who is making the coffee could speak any language that I don't know because they talk to each other. But the person at the desk talks to tourists and strangers and foreigners. Right? Okay. Roles. Now. There is a difference between agent and roles, and I would like to make a distinction between ro because roles can move. A role is a coherent package of subtasks. So in, in many cases, a role is equivalent with an activity. Somebody performs an activity. So spell checking my chapter on task analysis is a task for a whole evening in a way. And, and I could ask somebody, could you play the role of the spell checker for me? And if that's somebody who is very good and fluent in, in American English, he could do a very good job in repairing my spells, right? So it's a package of tasks that I can delegate or even mandate to an agent. But I can delegate or mandate to different agents, right? Uh, and in order to assign a role, so to some agent, the correctness of the agent should match. So in the coffee shop, if, if at a certain moment the, the guy who is making the coffee is, would like to do something different and he switched places with the guy who is using the machine, then hopefully the guy who is now at the desk will still speak English. Because if he doesn't speak English and the original one well, then we have a problem in the coffee shop. You see? So the agent that takes the role should have all the requirements for the role, should have the expertise, the education and so on. Now, roles are normally taken by agents that feel themselves entitled to do or transferred by delegation or mandate. I can tell my secretary to do certain jobs. And I can ask my, my, my colleague to do some jobs and sometimes my colleague tells me, you are not very good at spelling, let me do it for you. Right? So th th there are different ways how roles get assigned to people. Yeah? which is interesting in any task domain, including in the coffee shop. So, 
who decides who is going to be at the desk, who decides who is going to be coffee, why are they going to do that, can they change or can they only change if the boss tells them to change, and so on. So, in the task domain of collaborative writing, so suppose Chen Zhi and I are writing a piece together, which we sometimes have to do for Sekai, right? Mm -hmm. So, we, we, we have... Well, we are in different parts of the world, so we, we, I will write a piece, you will write a piece, we mail each other, we put the pieces together, then, then somebody would be the content editor, so I would say, well, it's about the, the situation in Southeast Asia, so Chen Ji, you are the content editor, and maybe he asks me to be the spell checker, that's not a good idea, I would ask Scooter Morris, which is our friend in the yeah. US, who is a much better spell checker of American English. And, but, but maybe I could do the formatting of references. So there are lots of tasks that we would do when we are collaboratively authoring a piece of work, right? So this is, and, um, well, I think we stopped.